What's up, YouTube? This is Dr. Snobby coming back at you one more again. And tonight's subject is a very controversial one. It's about crime and punishment. And it's, this is the beginning of a series that I'm going to be doing off and on, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, during YouTube. But what I want to talk about is crime and punishment, our justice system, okay? But let's look at these three gentlemen right here. Okay, hope y'all can see that. Okay, this first gentleman here, Mr. Orr. All right, Mr. Orr was stopped for an unlighted license plate. But when he was stopped, they found one rock of crack under his seat. Okay, this next gentleman here is Mr. Anthony Smith, age 22 arrested for jaywalking okay all right and one rock of crack was found in his pants pocket okay all right this next gentleman here his name is brian bidolf okay if i pronounce that right okay mr bidolf was arrested after police after a police chase they found four rocks of crack three crack pipes, 10 crack pipe filters, and they were found under his seat, okay? Now, okay, um, the first guy, okay, what was his prior? Mr. Mr. Orr, Mr. Orr had a vandalism as a juvenile, okay, to go with this next gentleman here. What was his priors, okay? None, no priors at all. Okay, as for Mr. Beatoff, let's see. His priors was robbery, charges reduced to misdemeanor. Hmm, okay, but two of these men got felonies on their records and one of these guys has a misdemeanor okay all right these two got felonies now but they had less crack than this guy here is that a coincidence or would you call it a miscarriage of justice okay but how is that? Why does this guy get probation? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to play the black-white issue, but let me bring up some more cases, okay? All right. This lady here, Miss Mercia Cherry, okay, she was caught with a minuscule amount of crack, but she pleaded no contest to, okay, to the, to the uh, felony. But she was a good candidate for a misdemeanor, but she copped to the felony. Now, this guy here is Kevin McFall, okay? Kevin McFall is the son of the county sheriff here in Cuyahoga County, okay? Um, investigators saw him buying $40 worth of crack from a dealer far more than what Miss Cherry had been found with, okay? All right. But McFall pleaded guilty to an attempt of possession of drugs, which is a misdemeanor. But the question I want to ask is, why is that? Okay, why does these two gentlemen, they were found, okay, this one was caught jaywalking. He was, he, I mean, I'm sorry, he was arrested for jaywalking. And they found a crack. One rock crack. This one got stopped for an unlighted license plate. And they found a rock up under his seat. They found... 
four rocks on this guy. Why isn't he a, you know, a felon? He pleaded to a misdemeanor. Why is that? I don't know, man. Um, in America, it's not about right or wrong. It's about how much money you got to pay that lawyer, to pay that prosecutor, to pay that judge. Okay? Um, I'm not, like I said before, I'm not trying to throw the black white thing out there, but it's amazing how even O.J. Simpson, guilty as hell, okay? Money, money dictates justice in America. These guys, these two defendants, which are now felons, have no money, okay? This lady has no money. This guy has money and influence by his father, okay? If I go to the corner store and take a loaf of bread, I'm going to jail. But if a guy that works for a bank steals millions of dollars, he gets slapped on the wrist. Why is that, okay? I'm gonna let y'all decide on that, but Y'all hit me up with some feedback. This is just installment one. So hit me back with some, you know, comment or whatever. We got to talk about this. Holla.